Ronald Osumba, a 33-year-old former corporate manager, has been unveiled as the Eagle Alliance running mate whose presidential candidate is Katanga MP Peter Kenneth after Party of Action's Raphael Tuju dropped his presidential ambitions to become the coalition's chairman. We are convicted that there is hope for a new way. Ladies and gentlemen, I am done waiting for tomorrow. I am sure you are as well. I am done living as a youth at the brink of hopelessness. I want to take an active role in setting off these important sparks that will move this country forward. I want to be part of the revolutionary and transformational leadership that Peter Kenneth represents. Moments after making the announcement, presidential candidate Peter Kenneth exuded confidence that the coalition now had what it takes to win the March 4th election. No country has ever been built on tribalism. We must not leave the lie that we can build our country based on tribal blocks. Osumba, who traces his beginnings from the sprawling Kibera slums, was a surprise pick as it was widely expected that Tuju would be named Kenneth's running mate. <laughs> Elsewhere, Deputy Prime Minister Musalia Mudavadi says if his Amani coalition forms the next government, it will ensure county land commissions established under the new constitution protect community land on behalf of Kenyans to eliminate land-related injustices, especially in pastoral communities who have suffered in the past. He was speaking during a public rally on Wednesday at Ololunga Trading Center in Narok County, where he received URP defectors led by Governor Aspirant John Conchella into their money coalition. He said proper land management under county governments will ensure that locals benefit more from resources such as wildlife in the game parks. Kwa hivyo tukiwa na serikali ambayo inaonekana labda inataka kulipiza kisasi kwa mtu fulani, hiyo itakuwa mbaya kwetu. Na mimi bwana Mdavadi sijakosea mtu, sijakosana na mtu. Kwa hivyo mimi natafuta tu kura kwa njia ya amani, niongoze wa Kenya kwa njia ya amani, na nyinyi mpige kura kwa amani. And in Meru County, presidential candidate on an Kenya ticket, Martha Karoa, has challenged political alliances that are set to conduct party nominations to ensure the exercise is conducted peacefully. Karoa was in Meru County where she addressed rallies in Igoji, Imente South, and Kinoru. <laughs> Sikapeleka kule mwisho mwisho. Nasikia ni za kesho, sababu waku taka kupatia wanachama wao na pasi ya kuenda mahali pengine. Tunawambia wafanye kwa njia ya amani. Natutaki purugu. Ukiona purugu nomination, unajua wale ni watu wataleta purugu baadaye. And the Restore and Build Kenya Party presidential contender Professor James Olekiapi has called on the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission to come out clearly and explain exactly how candidates are set to present their nomination papers. Kiapi asked the commission to clarify the issue of members being asked to fill in their voters' number. And yet in the recent biometric voter registration exercise, Voters were not issued with registration numbers. Kiapi was speaking at the party secretariat when he received a delegation from the African Union and the Common Market for Eastern Southern Africa, Comesa. Chris Wangombe, Citizen, Live at Nine.